Hello everyone, this is Dishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's class, we will learn how to create these sidebands and pockets on our trousers. So it's quite simple. This is the area where we will create the sidebands. Okay. So on the left side and on the right side of my trousers. So I will take edit pattern tool, click on this line, offset this line to around, uh, let's see. I think two, two should be good. Okay. And only one offset. Okay. And you can see they're symmetrical. So it's on the both sides. Similarly here, right click offset as pattern. So two here as well. Now what I need is that I need to make a sideband, which will be attached to it. Okay. So what I will do here is I will simply uh, take my rectangle tool and just click on the screen instead of creating one. I'll just click on it and two on the right, two on the left. So that means four. So four centimeters. I'll press OK. But issue is that I don't know the height length like of it. So let's see. Hmm. Try to match the height here. Or let's do one thing. Shift and Z on the keyboard. And if I will press Shift Z on the keyboard, it will show the high, uh, the length. Okay. Oops. Shift and Z. And you can see the length is uh, one, 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 uh, like triple one point two nine. Okay. So triple one point two nine. And this is no one one zero point three nine, which is uh, not right. So let's do one thing. Let's delete this one. Re recreate. Click on the screen for triple one point two nine. Press OK. Now this is the exact length that we require. So I will press Shift Z again to hide the uh, measurements. That's quite helpful. The measurements. So now I will. Move this closer. Okay. And rotate it so it will face. And I will move it down. Also, I will click on, on my uh, these garment patterns to see which side is facing which side. Okay. So if I click it here, so this is the side that is facing here so i'll put in the middle of it so it will e be easier for me to stitch them and i will make a copy of it uh control d so it will make it as a symmetrical with pattern so control d is the shortcut for symmetric with pattern so i will choose free sewing tool take this and then this side okay oops what is happening Let's see first. Yeah, I was, I was making sure that I'm doing it right. So click here and this new internal line for the sideways here. And then this side, and this side. Now I will use M and free sewing tool to attached to these uh, top lines. So M and free sewing tool, starting from here, press enter, and then N, first N, then second N, press enter again. So that's fine. We'll go on the bottom, select this and enter. Then I have to select N. So first N and then second N. Okay, that's cool. So I have to manually do the other side because the, uh, it's not, I think it's not uh, 
So right click and side uh, and superimpose side. Oh, that's that doesn't look good. I don't think you need the superimpose side. Just keep it no uh, normal. Okay, so I'll just move it outward and try superimpose over. No, superimpose over is also not good. Because superimpose side has ruined it. So what I will do is that instead of superimpose sides, so let's do the other side, then we'll decide what to do. So I'll take this side. I will take the free sewing tool uh, here. Similarly, what we do to the other side, I will do the same here. Okay. And I'll wait a while and then other size. Now, you, oh, you can see that it have to be flipped. So manually, I will flip it now. Or, or right click flip horizontal. That's fine. Instead of manually doing it. It's too far away from the size. So I will just pull it in. This is like better. Instead of superimpose side or over, this is better. Just move it there. So I will do the other side. Sewing with the free sewing tool done now i will take the m and free sewing tool to sew the top and bottom part okay start starting from here enter now n first n second n press enter done Here as well. Okay, enter. First N. Then second N. Done. Now let's uh, simulate it and see. I think the one that I superimposed side or over will not look good. But still, let's simulate and see. Okay. Yep. This side doesn't look good. So what I will do here is that I will just right click here, reset 3D arrangement, move it outwards, and now simulate again. This is better. Okay. This looks good. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and if you like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please guys champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on c interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 